Dear students, we have discussed HTML in the last two modules and we have made our first home page using HTML tags. However, you might have seen that HTML has variety of tags which are available nowadays and all of the tags cannot be covered in this introductory uh, module or introductory course on introduction to computing. So you will be learning maximum of those tags in next of uh, in next different courses. However, here I want to let you know that you have further option to learn by yourself different tags which are available online. So if you go onto this uh, URL W3 schools, here you will find all of such relevant tags and you can also have practice of all of the tags available on this website. So let's do it. So I have copied this link over here and here you can see that it is the HTML reference book that has all of the HTML tags available. So for example, from left side we have number of options. You can search HTML tags by alphabet, by category, by attributes and HTML colors and so on. So if you select HTML by alphabets, so you will get alphabetically all of the tags. So this anchor text we have uh, practiced in the last module and then there are some many many more uh, tags which are available. So if you go by HTML by category that is an easier option to understand. So these are all of the tags which we already studied in previous module HTML head title and heading tag. So for example last time I showed you that the difference between H1 to H6 However, if you go over here, you can even see the difference between H1, H2, H3, H4, H5 and then H6. So you can try it yourself. This is a button. If you click over here, so it will give you the HTML code on the left side and how this code will be displayed on the screen. So this means this is heading 1 that is basically having such a large font then heading 2 has a little bit smaller font and then heading 3 even smaller up till heading 6 so you can even practice all of the tags whatever you want from this example so if you go back then you can see for example if you want to practice br tag you go over here, try it by yourself and then you can see that if we want to break the lines between the text, whatever we want to display on the screen, so we can use BR tag. So for example, I want to write two break lines on first line in the output and then in a text in the next line and then use the BR element in the further third line. So what I will use, I will use the BR tag. And this was the tag I was mentioning previously that doesn't have the uh, closing tag. So there is no BR slash BR tag because we don't want to close this tag. So whenever you want an empty line, you can use this tag. So similarly, you can practice many many more tags available here you can just click on them and see that what kind of formatting you can do what are the basic tags and then many many other things which you can learn over here just by sitting at your home and by practicing all of the things getting the code and the final output that would be displayed getting the code and the final output that would be displayed. So all of such things you can easily practice at home. So today's module we have discussed many different HTML tags which are available online and I have shown you a link of W3C school where you can practice for further 
HTML tags by sitting at your home on your computer without the need of instructor. However, in next of your courses like on web development, you will learn more HTML and more advanced forms of programming on web.